Utah Department of Transportation has some potential alternatives to help ease some of that congestion in Little Cottonwood Canyon. They've identified three options to benefit Utahns and visitors. Fox 13's L. Thomas joins us live from the mouth of Little Cottonwood Canyon. L. Yeah, hey Kelly and Bob, if you have ever come up Little Cottonwood Canyon in the winter time to hit up Alta or Snowbird, you definitely know what a headache that ski traffic can be. You don't want it to address that. They took 105 public proposals, whittled it down to just three, could make some big changes here in the canyon. It's one of the things that Utah is known for. When your claim to fame is the greatest snow on earth, Utah's not a well-kept secret anymore. It's no wonder people flock to the mountains. There's more and more people that are discovering us, and we have more residents that are coming up to the canyons. But with all that popularity comes, you guessed it, traffic. Far too many times this winter, we've seen uh, just that long line of cars waiting to get up there. It's an issue that literally can't go unnoticed. But UDOT has drafted a solution. Improve mobility, reliability, and safety. Or three. Each of these three alternatives would transport about a thousand people per hour up the uh, canyon. The first plan implements an enhanced bus system, bringing in 24 buses that would take visitors directly to the ski resorts six times per hour. The next takes the buses a step further, paving the shoulder of the road to create a specialty lane for bus travel only. And finally, a gondola featuring 35 person cabins. It could potentially be the longest gondola in the world at just over eight miles. None of these plans are set in stone, but these are the things UDOT says are worth looking into when we as a state are looking towards the future. You know, it really speaks to the growth that we're seeing here in the state and just what an international player Utah is becoming. More and more people want to experience what we have to offer. A big component of this is that public input. So that public com comment portion is going to be open from June 8th to July 10th. From there, UDOT is going to narrow it down to just one of these alternative plants and hopefully have a final decision by the end of 2021. Live in Little Cottonwood Canyon, L. Thomas, Fox 13 News, Utah.